The Chicago Bulls have made a move that a lot of us expected. They waived Marco Simonovic and will not be using the last year of his partially guaranteed deal. We're going to talk about it all and more. What could be coming right after this? You are now tuned in to Chicago Bulls Central, your number one place for all Chicago Bulls news and content. All right, Bulls fans, welcome to another episode of Chicago Bulls Central, your number one spot for everything Chicago Bulls related. I'm the host here, Hayes. You guys can follow me right off the top at CEO Hayes. That's CEO H A I Z E if you choose to do so. And we got an update a roster move that a lot of us were expecting, just kind of looking at the writing on the wall. When you have a player that just can't simply get on the court and it doesn't seem like the Bulls are too invested in his future. Yeah, kind of have to wave him, especially when you don't have a lot of roster spots. What this could mean for the team, we'll talk about in a second. But what I'm talking about is Marco Simonovic. The Bulls have decided to not pick up the last year of his partially guaranteed deal, which had a salary coming in at $1.8 million. So Marco Simonovic, who's appeared in 16 games for the Chicago Bulls over his career with averages of one point per game, uh, 27% shooting. 22% 22% from three-point range, uh, less than a, a block, less than a steal, less than a rebound, and about 15 dunks per game on Marco Simonovic head had, did he average. But all jokes aside, Marco Simonovic is a player that you guys know. I, I watch every G League game, and I've seen the skill set that he has down there in the G League. The Bulls signed him to a three-year, $4.3 million deal that ultimately they probably should have gave Io DeSumo that same year, and then they could have held on to Io uh, and and then not be in the situation where they need to figure out what they're going to do with him or maybe let him walk. But Marco Simonovic leaving the team is not something that's surprising. Six foot 11, uh, appeared in 16 games, didn't do anything too crazy. But, you know, last year in the G League, 16 points per game, 10 rebounds on 52% shooting and 39% shooting from three. Marco Simonovic did work on his game when he was down in the G League and he improved his physicality as well at the G League level. And that for those that watched it, we all saw it. But for a team in the Chicago Bulls that don't have a lot of roster spots, right? We talked about technically they had one open roster spot, but they do have they had a lot of partial guarantees, him, Carleek, and then whatever happens with Io, this now frees up an additional roster spot for the Chicago Bulls to decide what they're gonna do. Um, and you know, ultimately we've talked about a lot of the players that kind of hover around that, you know, the Bulls could go after. And some players that the Bulls can play, pay a, around the same that they're paying Marco Simonovic, but that have already proven that they can be somewhat at least productive on an NBA court. So this frees that up a little bit for the Chicago Bulls. This also now means that the Bulls, it gives them a little bit more uh, cap space. So they were $8.8 million underneath the luxury tax. This now puts them over $10 million beneath the luxury tax. And you know that frees up? That means that now, even if the Bulls were to use that full disabled player exception, it wouldn't send it wouldn't send them into the luxury tax. Now they still do have uh, they still have six million dollars left of a mid level exception. They also have four point five million dollars of a biannual exception. But the key thing is, is now that disabled player sex, uh, exception. I can't talk that disabled. I'm sorry. Des, no, yeah, disabled player exception. I'm, I'm correcting myself when I don't need to. That disabled player exception of $10.1 million that the Chicago Bulls have, they can now technically use all of that without going into the luxury tax. Now, of course, that means if they use any more of their mid-level exception or their biannual exception, that does send them into that area. Um, So, you know, ultimately, that's doubtful. And it looks like, actually, the Chicago Bulls may have used, no, they used part of the mid-level exception to sign Javon Carter. So that just, that's where the Bulls sit right now. So we've talked about a handful of players that the Bulls could go after, both with the disabled player exception and, you know, with any type of cap space that they still have, this now could potentially free them up to signing a player like uh, Trenton, Wat- or Tr- Trenton Watford, right? This could f- uh, free them up to sign a bowl bowl, right? Uh, two players that, while still have a lot of questions on exactly what they're going to be at the NBA level, it, they have been productive in playing for NBA teams and at least giving some type of rotational minutes to those teams. So, ultimately, we'll see what the Bulls do. They can only carry 14 players. They could decide to carry the full 15. But if they do, this frees up a little bit more. Could we hear some things about Io DeSumo's extension uh, coming up soon as well now that th- this is kind of off the books? The last major thing to fall for the Chicago Bulls is officially hearing that they've been approved for this disabled player exception. That's really the last thing. Other than that, deciding on Io, deciding on Carl Leak, and um, then deciding who they're going to else and go out and sign. 
So we'll remain to see. But make sure you guys stay tuned in with us right here at Chicago Bulls Central. We are the number one spot for everything Chicago Bulls related. You can follow the channel at Bulls Central Pod. You can send us any feedback, questions, comments, concerns. BullsCentralPod at gmail.com. Lastly, you want to leave a text message and our voicemail for our mailbag episodes on Saturdays and Sundays. The number to do so, 773-270-2799. We are the number one spot for everything Chicago Bulls related because of you guys. And like I liked in every episode on. Go Bulls. Love you guys. See you right if you can, y'all. Peace. This has been a presentation of The Break Break Media. Media. Media.